This is Gene Key for SkyServe News. An East Texas boy says administrators used a permanent marker to color in a line shaving into his hair in order to comply with the school's dress code. Sheldon Williams, who attends Marshall Junior High School, says he's had the same hairstyle for a long time and never had problems. KSLA-TV reports the student handbook bans designs shaved into the hair. Williams says he was told that he could only have one part in his hair, not two. Relatives of Williams says they should have been contacted before anything was done to the child's hair. School administrators say Tuesday they regret not calling the boy's parents and will come up with a different way to deal with hair designs. Marshall is 140 miles east of Dallas. The Associated Press reports the government has started providing trailers to families needing housing after their homes burned during Central Texas wildfires. The first temporary housing units arrived this week in Bastrop County, courtesy of the Federal Emergency Management Agency. FEMA spokesman Ray Perez said Wednesday that the trailers will be available for up to 18 months. More than 1,500 homes were destroyed during the wildfires that began late. Labor Day weekend in the Bastrop area, about 30 miles east of Austin. Eligible residents need to apply to be considered for FEMA housing assistance. Two- and three-bedroom trailers are available. More than 22,000 people have signed petitions against a proposed Confederate flag license plate for Texas. The Austin American Statesman reports the petitions were offered Wednesday in Austin. The government board of the Texas Department of Motor Vehicles could decide on the plate in November. Board members had no comment Wednesday. The specialty plate has been proposed by the Sons of Confederate Veterans, which is an ancestral history group. Supporters have also raised free speech issues. Critics include Gary Bledsoe with the NAACP, who says the Confederate flag is as offensive as a swastika and creates fear and intimidation. Another official with the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, Yanis Banks, says the flag represents slavery and hate. This is Gene Key for SkyServe News.